Hi friends, it's John Bice with eXp Real Estate, Florida's Suncoast Homes and the Florida for Boomers Network. Hey, we wanted to talk to you about our beautiful beaches. Now, of course, everybody wants to know and talks about Siesta Key. It is the number one beach in the country, uh, so everybody knows about that. But did you know we have Lido Key, which is every bit as spectacular and not as crowded as Siesta Key. Lido Key is um, just over the Ringling Causeway um, and you go out the uh, causeway there and you'll come through St. Armand Circle. Now St. Armand Circle is amazing. Shops, boutique areas, restaurants, they have a couple of famous restaurants there. The Columbia and the Crab and Fin are there. Just absolutely amazing. Just a great uh, place to go out, walk around, have dinner, go out and have lunch, and just uh, stroll around and look at the different shops. So right behind St. Armand Circle, you'll come up to uh, Lido Key. Now there's the public beach at Lido Key where they have um, a pavilion with showers and uh, places to grab snacks and all kinds of things like that. And uh, then down at the south end of Lido Key, not quite as many people know about it. There's a um, park there, tree-lined park with picnic tables, uh, grills all set up. There's restrooms there and just a beautiful area to get out onto uh, the very end of Lido Key. Now on weekends and holidays, boats everywhere because um, they just pull up to the beach. They anchor right there. And there's a sandbar just past the south point of Lido Key, which is also very popular for boats to park at uh, during the holidays. So we'll be right back, show you some video about Lido Key and talk to you more about this amazing area. So I'm approaching US 41 on Fruitville Road. Downtown Sarasota is just two blocks to the left. And if you'll look just to the left of that crane ahead of me, you'll start to see the Ritz-Carlton um, there that's located on the water here in Sarasota. Fruitville Road runs all the way um East and West goes back to I-75 and then dead ends right here into US-41. So you either have to go to the left or to the right. And then this will lead you right to the Ringling Bridge, which is the approach for Lido Key. This is Sarasota Bay and I took a picture or a video of the Ringling Bridge and you can see the view is just spectacular. At night the bridge is completely lit up and um, actually they do different colors for different parts of the year. But just a fantastic drive coming over the bridge. This is the approach to the Ringling Bridge and this is a very, very popular area for people to come and walk and jog and bike um, off to both sides. They have very wide sidewalks and um, just an amazing view of Sarasota Bay on both sides. Um, actually an excellent place to be walking during sunset because if you just continue straight, you'll run right into Lido Key which we'll show you in just a minute. But again, this is called the Ringling Causeway, right from downtown Sarasota, heading into St. Armand Circle, which we're going to drive through briefly just to kind of show you what it looks like also.
We're approaching St. Armand's Circle now, and um, St. Armand's Circle is just a great place to come and walk around. Unique little shops, all kinds of restaurants. As I stated, there's two uh, pretty famous restaurants there, the Columbia and the Crab and Fin, but all kinds of places to go eat and walk around. And this is the entry right there to the right, if you went that way, that's Longboat Key. And following uh, the roundabout here and going back this way, you'll head straight to Lido Key. And the shops are, again, on both sides. There's a uh, Tommy Bahamas there on the left. And again, I'm out here at just before 8 o'clock in the morning. That's why it's so empty. Um, during the days, this will be very crowded. During snowbird season, it's absolutely packed. So we know when to head out there and when to avoid uh, the crowds for sure. This is the park at the uh, south end of Lido Key. And I'm going to be driving up to this in just a second. But just a great tree-lined park. The, uh, the intercoastal waterway is just on the other side of that playground. But there's restrooms here and grills. And uh, here I am driving into that park. So this is kind of a locals area. Not as many people know about this. Even fewer people come here than go to Lido Key. Because as I said, it's kind of a local hangout. And uh, it's where we take our jet skis out to on uh, weekends and holidays and go uh Pull up almost right to the beach. There's a sandbar just off of um, off the beach there, but you can see there's plenty of parking. There's restrooms here, and just a great place to go hang out at the beach. Good morning. Hey, I'm out on Lido Key this morning. This is one of several beaches we have here in the Sarasota Parish, Lakewood Ranch, and Venice area. So I'm out here early this morning. It's actually about five after eight. I got here before all the crowds got here and everything. But uh, Lido Key is uh, near St. Armand's Circle, which I've driven through to show you what St. Armand's Circle looks like. And this is just beautiful, pristine beaches. Um, not as crowded as Siesta Key, uh, but every bit as beautiful with the white sandy beaches and just, spectacular we come out here a lot actually at sunset get out here maybe at about four o'clock in the afternoon when the crowds the crowds have died down sit here bring out some uh, adult beverages and hang out and watch the sunset and it's breathtaking just absolutely spectacular so this area is 11 miles from lakewood ranch uh, very easy drive it took me 20 minutes to get out here this morning so now with traffic and traffic lights and everything, if you're coming from Lakewood Ranch and you're getting out here midday or whatever, it'll take you about 35 minutes maybe to get here. But again, just beautiful beach area. sand dunes are um, protected and we have the sea turtle areas where the sea turtles come up and lay their eggs so it's uh, really really nice so i'll get you some more video um, answer some more questions for you and show you some more of paradise hey so now i've moved to the south end of lido key so lido key runs along in the public beach is, as I said, right behind St. Armand's Circle. This is the south point of Lido Key. That leads you right out to the Gulf of Mexico right there. But on a weekend or a holiday, 
This beach here is absolutely just packed with boats, jet skis, people just hanging out and having a great time. Right behind me, can't see it right now because the tide's in, but there's a sandbar there. That's another place where boats uh, hang out. And this is the day trip for us. It's, we pack up our boat or we come to the beach and we come for the day. Like we like to get here early in the day, kind of let the crowds come in after us. And uh, if it's a hot day, like during the summers, we get out of here about, I don't know, two o'clock, go back, jump in the pool and chill at the house. But we get five or six hours here at the beach. Uh, our other favorite thing to do, as I mentioned before, is come out here and see just a beautiful sunset. Now I'm out here just after sunrise, came up about an hour and a half ago. I'll swing around here a little bit. I don't want it to be too glary. If I can get it in there. But the sun's just coming up right there. And I gotta tell you, even being a Floridian, yes, I was born here, born and raised in St. Pete. I always love this, it's spectacular. I, I can just feel myself exhaling. It's amazing. Well, I hope you enjoyed that tour of Lido Key. Um, again, absolutely beautiful beach. And uh, we were out there early. Uh, I was there, it was about five after eight to 8.30. Um, so no crowds at all. But again, that's kind of a locals beach that we go to that not as many people know about because you can normally find a place right along the road to park and just walk straight out to the beach. So it's very convenient, great place to uh, hang out. And uh, once you're a local here, you'll learn the little shortcuts to get to Lido Key without having to go to through St. Armand Circle. Now we'll do an, uh, another video in the future because St. Armand Circle is also the entry to Longboat Key. So we're gonna make a video about that. But hey, if you're liking our videos and the information we're putting out there about Sarasota, Lakewood Ranch, the beaches, Venice, um, and Parrish, hey, like the channel and uh, hit the subscribe button on the, um, on the bell, and it will notify you every time that we put out a new video about once a week about this area and just great things happening here, the vibe of what's happening, the beaches to go to, great restaurants to hit. And um, so if you have questions, give me a call. You can reach me at 941-962-7443 if I can remember my own phone number. So um, I look forward to hearing from you and helping you find your home here in paradise.